So what exactly is a Merkle tree? Let's find out. While it may be called a tree, one thing to note is in computer terms, trees are often a bit upside down. Now let's start with some data that we wanna keep track of. The first step in creating a Merkle tree is to hash that data. We'll be using the Kekak256 hash, which will create a consistent output. This will create the first part of our tree, the leaves. From here, we'll need to combine those hashed data together. One and two will be combined and hashed again to create a new hash, hash five. Three and four likewise will be hashed together for hash six. In this tiny Merkle tree, the last step will be to create the root or the final hash that we'll be using. That's done by hashing together the combination of hashes five and six. Once we have the root, we can take that and store that on chain. If anything in the entire tree changes, the root will change as well. This lets you verify information throughout the entire tree. 